the taller I become The farther you take my rights away He was involved in the accident on December the 17th. The 29 year old's undergone eight operations on his battered body and insists he's lucky to be alive. My spirit to fight has been really strong and um, you know, I did feel really close to death, so to be sat up now living to tell the tale is um, really positive for me. He was the passenger in this van when it collided with another vehicle on the A3088 just outside Yeovil. Stadium worker Bruce James was also injured in the crash, but the wreckage shows the consequences could have been a lot worse. Darren did suffer horrific injuries in the accident, breaking three of his four limbs. He's had surgery to repair his right elbow and undergone several operations on his right hip, which was dislocated in the crash. His left leg was also broken in several places and required surgery, but the midfielder is renowned for his fighting spirit on the pitch and already that's evident as he battles to save his career. Yeah, he's, he's from the very start, the first time I met him, he's been very positive and he's wanted to get the treatment sorted out and, and get back on his feet and uh, it helps. It helps a lot when the patients like, like Darren who, who, uh, who just want to get going. The player himself knows he faces a long road to recovery, but he's refusing to give up on his dream of playing for the Glovers again. When you come close to death and um, you actually come around and start thinking where you are, you know, it's important you think about, you know, what is important and that's my children. Now obviously, first and foremost, um, I used to dedicate my whole life to football, but like I said, you know, with me, the fight, the spirit, um, I've not given up by a long shot. And like I said, um, don't be surprised that, you know, I'll be um, wearing a green and white shirt soon. For the moment, it's about setting short-term goals and Darren hopes to be moved back to Yeovil Hospital next week. He's then looking forward to visiting Hewish Park to thank the fans for their incredible support. Chris Pittles for West Country News. Well, obviously, um, you've been treating Darren. Just explain to us uh, what, what he's come through. Yeah, he had a, a serious road traffic accident which resulted in uh, some broken bones affecting his right arm, his right hip and his left leg. Fortunately, there were no serious injuries to other parts of his body. So uh, I think he's had eight operations to correct um, he's, he's had a number of operations over several, several days. His initial treatment was at the hospital in Dorchester where they did a good job at fixing up his important primary or big bone injuries. And then he was transferred here to Bristol to, for the specialist pelvic and acetabular surgery he needed to fix his right hip joint. In essence, he'd broken the right hip socket when he dislocated the hip. It came out of joint, and so we had to put the bones back together to rebuild the hip joint. Um, and subsequently, we had to do one or two other minor bits of surgery to finish off uh, to, uh, his injuries. But essentially...
video with relatively soon? Well, like I said, obviously, um, what the, the, the staff here have been fantastic. So, um, uh, Mr. Smyber, um, I speak to Mr. Ward, and um, perhaps they can take over um, early next week, um, providing everything's okay, with, and Mr. Ward gives it the all clear. Yeah. I think you're saying earlier, probably the physical, and also, also the mental as well. The, the yeah, I'll, like I said, um, I think I've found the the um, the physical um, a lot easy to deal with, but um, to be honest with you, it's the mental side which is um, sort of. Um, from me back a bit because you know sometimes when people go to the doctors and you know they say they suffer from frustration anxiety you, you know you can't really understand until it actually happens to you but like I said you know I've had um, a few of those things happen to me but um, I've been you know working with a sports psychologist Mark Lader and um, he's helped me as well to sort of try and you know relax the body but like I said you know without that determination and Without that fighting spirit, that voice out, I, I probably wouldn't be alive now to tell the tale. So it is difficult now. This has happened to sort of tell my body, look, I'm okay now. Just shut yourself down and close your eyes and get some rest. Would you say you are now for your, your your fighting spirit? I mean, especially on, on the pitch with, with the way you play. Is this the the biggest challenge that you've, you've ever faced? Yeah, and this is this is you know this is massive. Um, you know, this has took a took a major effort from me. And um, you know anyone that goes through this, I've got utmost respect because you know I, I do actually feel you know I'm lucky to be alive. Darren Way had his untimely brush with death in December. Five breaks and/or dislocations and seven operations have put his football career on hold. I'll even wash your clothes Just give me some candy Before I go Oh darling, I'll kiss your eyes And leave down on your rug Just give me some candy After my Just give me some candy before I go Oh darling, I'll kiss your eyes and lay down on your rug Just give me some candy after my hug Oh and i be there waiting for you Oh, did I?